Hello, hello, greetings, everybody. Uh, well, I pray and hope that this message is shared in the best of health and in the best of spirit. Today is uh, April 9th, 2022. Uh, well, in this video today, I wanted to speak about the situation of Mali and France. I want to speak about the ongoing conflict between the brave Malian authorities and uh, the nasty, imperialistic, blood-sucking uh, 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 thief French authorities. As some of you guys already know, uh, for the past few months there has been a, there has been a series like uh, a diplomatic uh, instabilities unfolding between uh, the Malian uh, authorities and uh, the coward, nasty, shameless French authorities. And uh, the only reason for it, as many of you already know, the only reason for it is that uh, the brave current Malian authorities have decided to take, between, to take between their own hands the destiny and the future of Mali. You understand? Which, can, which is translated into putting an end to France's uh, imperialistic, colonialistic activities not only in Mali, but in the Sahel. Because once Mali takes its independence from Mali, from France, once Mali takes its full independence from France, Mali's independence will influence uh, uh, neighboring countries who are still also suffering at the, at the hands of uh, the wickedness of French colonialism. France that are, uh, uh, has to make the Africans suffer in order for France to maintain it is a world superpower status. France that loves to carry out indirect genocides against Africans in order to keep hold of Africa's natural resources. Why do I say France that likes to carry out genocides against the Africans? Because every armed conflict that you see within the French-speaking African countries, the only mastermind of them is France. You understand? France is the country, I mean, the demonic French uh, uh, politicians, the French multinationals, you understand, who use the French politicians as puppets. They are the ones who are behind all the conflicts you see happening within the country's so called uh, former French colonies which in reality are still colonized by France and is still enslaved, economically enslaved by France to this very day. You understand? So the French authorities are behind any conflict you see happening within these countries. Like the term goes, divide and conquer. France still practices this nasty politics. You understand? Because France has to keep hold of African natural resources by all means. France has to keep its social, political, and economic influence over us Africans. I mean, economic, political, and social enslavement over us Africans by all means. France has to do all in its power in order to keep us slaves for France. You understand? So, any conflict, like I was saying, you see happening in these countries, from so-called former French colonies, which are still in reality colonized by France, any or conflict, any conflict you see in these countries are conflicts that are masterminded by France. You understand? Because France has to have its military presence in our countries. In order for France to have its military presence on, in our countries, France has to create a problem. You understand? A, pro, a problem that will uh, uh, give France a right or a motive to have a military in our countries in, in the name of peacekeeping, you understand, or in the name of fighting against a particular armed group, like they do in Mali and Niger and some parts of Chad, you understand. They don't go to a country where there is no petroleum, where there is no natural resource, no, no, no. They are terrorists. <laughs> the terrorists are always in the countries that are filled with natural resources, like gold, diamond, petroleum, you understand, gas, uranium, like the case of Mali and Niger, you understand. Mali is having like, 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 like abundance of gold, like everywhere 
under the soil of Mali is filled with gold, uranium, coltan, cobalt, you name them. And in Niger, same thing. Niger is also filled with uranium and oil. Mind you, they made a study back in 2014 when the Human Rights Organization made a study on Niger, Niger's uranium. As you know, Niger is almost number one in production of uranium in the whole world. Uranium is an element that uh, is used to make uh, these like nuclear powers, to, to make uh, electricity, as you understand. So one of these uh, organizations make their study on the uranium of Niger. How come Niger is almost the world's number one uranium producer, but Niger is the poorest country on the face of this planet Earth. One, only the one day production of uranium of Niger can turn every person, every person of, uh, of Niger's population into a millionaire. Only one day, one day uranium production. But then how come Niger is the poorest country? And Niger, Niger is producing uranium day and night. Forget about the oil that Niger also has. You understand? When this human rights organization made their study, they found out that the Niger uranium actually is being taken by France and free. France don't pay one cent except the politicians France has put in place uh, uh, in Niger. You understand? France gives them money, some money. You understand? As you know, one of our problems as people, as Africans, as black people, is that... Uh, it's our selfishness, greed. You understand? For a small amount of coins, someone is ready to sell the future of his entire future generation. The person is ready to make to, to, to break down the dreams of all his population for personal well-being. You understand? Or just to stay in power, which is not even uh, eternal. You stay in power only for a few years before you die. You understand? Or before you get overthrown. Or who knows? You understand? So some are ready just for small comfort, personal comfort to them and their family to sell the entire well-being of the country to these Western multinationals who don't care about us at all, who don't even see us as a human beings. They don't even see us as a full human beings. You understand? So anything they do to us, they feel like, ah, these are semi-humans. It's okay. They have these natural resources. You understand? But they don't deserve them, you see. You see, so like I was saying, after uh, after this, uh, uh, the human rights organization studied uh, 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 the situation of the Niger uranium. How come Niger has Niger's uh, among the world's number one producers of uranium, but then Niger is the poorest country on the face of this planet Earth. The poorest country. The people are the most suffering people on the face of this planet Earth. After they made the carried out, they did this uh, study. They found out that. Every three bulb, light bulb, every three light bulb that's lit in France. No, every five bulbs that are lit in France, three of them are lit with the uranium of uh, Niger. Can you imagine? Because France only takes it for free. France takes it for free. France doesn't pay one cent. These shameless French politicians you see every day sitting on the TV talking about democracy, freedom, human well-being, human rights. They are the most... To, they are the most demonic human beings God has created. The most shameless people. The most soulless human beings God has created. Is these shameless French politicians you see on TV talking about democracy will be while keeping <clears throat> while keeping men, women, and children in perpetual suffer. You understand? In eternal suffer. Some are born and die in Niger. They never get to know what really what what prosper what prosperity is about. Because of the demonic of these French politicians, the demonism of these French politicians, you understand, and French multinationals who hate to see a black person in a good shape, who are ready to do everything they can, everything under their demonic power to make sure that we Africans remain under the feet of every other people on the face of this planet Earth, who are ready to do everything that they can to keep hold of uh, the natural resource of our countries without which they know that their country will go from a world superpower to become one of the most worthless countries on the face of this planet earth you understand so after the malian authorities understood that france is in the sahel not to fight terrorism but to create more terrorism france is in the sahel not to save the malian people but to cause terror 
upon the Malian people using it as a brainwashed idiot so-called Islamists to terrorize the other Malian po the Malian population so that the Mali so that the French military can have a right to stay in Mali in the name of fighting against terrorists terrorists that France itself has created you understand for the continuation of its colonial activities on our continent uh, so one of the Malian authorities, one of the Malian uh, uh, authorities discovered that France is, France is in, in the side not to fight terrorism but to cause more trouble, you understand. They decided to get rid of France. I have already made a video about that situation between the, 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 the nasty, shameless French authorities, the brave Malian authorities and the puppets of France. Uh, 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 how do you call it in English again? UMOA or whatsoever, you understand, the CDAO, you understand, the, the West African Monetary Fund, uh, which is led by the, the, the worthless president of Ghana, Nana Akufo-Addo, who is also a stupid man, allowing himself with all the diplomas, with all the education that he has, is allowing himself to be manipulated by this little boy of France called Emmanuel Macron. You understand. So the Malian authorities decided to get rid of France. You understand? They first chased away the French uh, 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 ambassador. The French ambassador in, was in Mali. And uh, planning a coup against uh, the Malian transition president. He is planning to eliminate, assassinate the Malian transition president, Asimi Goita, the man who is doing everything to save the Malians from the wickedness, the blood sucking of France. You understand? From uh, France's economic and political slavery, the French diplomat, the nasty French ambassador, was plotting to assassinate that man and the other members of the government. You understand? The Malian authorities discovered that this man was looking for, for some heads within the Mali, within the the, the, the the circle, within the close, uh, within the circle of the Malian government. They were looking for heads. They can use to assassinate Asimi Goita, to assassinate the Malian Prime Minister, and to assassinate the Malian Foreign Minister, while giving tough time to France by exposing France's demonic activities in Mali, in the Sahel, and in Africa in general. You see, so the Malian the Malian authority discovered this nasty ambassador of France is trying to 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 to, to find people to kill us. You understand? He's trying to find the people to kill us in order to stop the freedom of Mali, in order to, to prevent the Malian authorities from putting an end to the colonialistic blood-sucking activities of France in Mali. So the Malian authorities deported that French ambassador back to France. Every people were like, oh, as you know, we, some, one of our problems is as Africans, we, so believe, we, we, we claim to be Muslims and Christians, but in pra practically we worship we, there are people on this planet Earth that we worship more than we worship God. If we believe and worship God like we worship these people, you understand, we wouldn't be having any of the problems we are having on our continent today. You understand? So one of the Kiki, the Malian, um, uh, the, the French ambassador from Mali, some Africans were like, oh, this is a big trouble. Mali is finished. The terrorists are going to take over Mali now. To turn it into Afghanistan, Al Qaeda, like uh, blah blah blah. You understand? They didn't know that the Malian military are already prepared. They took their time to prepare themselves. You understand? And found a new partners, a military partners, which is Russia. As you guys know, Russia does no hypocrisy. You understand? Russia signs deals with you. I want you to help me fight this. You understand? Russia intervenes. Russia fights. You understand? Russia comes and fights the deal Russia has signed with you. You understand? You have Islamic terrorists terrorizing your people. Russia comes. Russia signs a deal with you. Russia will help you defeat these foolish so-called Islamists. You understand? You call yourself a Muslim. You go and assassinate, murder old men, women, and children. You understand? 
but you are not starting it from your own father and mother. Brood is sucking yahmar. You understand? So Russia comes, Russia helps you defeat, defeat the demons that you have existing within your country. Not like the Western military. The Western military comes, they cause more problems because they, they, their ambition isn't to finish a problem or to end a problem. Wherever they go, have you ever seen they have ended a problem? No. Wherever they go, if you only have one problem, once they get there, 10, 10 times, the problem will increase. Times 10, the problem will increase. You have seen in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Syria, in Libya, and everywhere. Wherever the Western authorities, wherever the Western military intervene, wherever they intervene, the problem they intervene claiming to solve, they will create 10 times that problem because they will make sure that their military stays there. You understand? Because the reality is that the problem in the first place that they claim to come to fight is a problem that they have created so that you will need them, their military presence. And once their military are there, they will do all they can to keep their military there in that country. You understand? And through that military presence, they will control the natural resources like gas, petroleum, oil, uranium, gold, diamond, you name them. Through that, their military, their high-use military presence, they will control the natural resources of your country. You understand? And they will make sure that problem keeps increasing because only through problem they will self-right to stay there. You understand? So the Malian authorities, after discovering all the demonic activities of France, the Malian authorities decided to get rid of France ambassador, the kick France ambassador. France started talking, ba 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 French politicians, there's this old man, French is a, a foreign minister, one old man called... Uh, 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 Jean Jean Pierre Ledrian Jean Pierre Ledrian I don't know I, I Ledrian something Ledrian like this Jean Pierre Ledrian or Francois Ledrian something like this old man that guy was like losing his mind I'm telling you guys you understand that guy was like losing his mind he started at verbally insulting the Malian authorities some people even thought maybe he was he was uh, intoxicated he was like uh, he was like on drugs or on alcohol. You understand? He started talking like a small boy, insulting the Malian authorities left and right instead of negotiating with them. He started insulting them. He kept insulting, insulting, using the TV channels. Malian authorities decided to put an end to the existence, to suspend, to suspend the two uh, uh, greatest French propaganda TV channels, lying as fake news French propaganda channels. You understand one radio station RFI and one TV station France Vent Cut. You understand the Malian authorities decided to suspend these two uh, uh, French uh, uh, propaganda machines. You see, the Malian the, the French authorities they still are go they still are insulting the Malian authorities in every way they can. You understand trying to cause anger because they are losing. They said when a tree is falling, it makes a lot of noise. French, the France, France is going down. France must make the noise it is making. You understand? France is losing its control of Africa's natural resources, without which France will hit the ground and become one of the worst, the poorest countries on the face of this planet Earth. French people are not creative. They invent nothing. All they can is to go around steal people's ideas, come and develop them. You understand? And uh, call it their own. Apart French, are, are, they are the most worthless people. They are the, the French government is the most worthless government on the face of this planet Earth. And have you seen how the French government is treating the French? It is people. You understand? The people that are protesting against, uh, against uh, the forceful vaccines, against uh, different dictatorial activities of Emmanuel Macron and the French government. You see how they are treating these people protesting against they are they are uh, 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 dictator, acti tyrannic activities. You see, these are the people who goes to Africa and talk about uh, uh, freedom, liberty, this and that, this and that. As if we Africans are a stupid people who have to always agree with their bullshit. You understand? The bullshit they talk about day and night. You see, so one of the Marian, one of the French authorities kept spreading their bullshit, lying about the Marian authorities, this and that and this and that and this and that. The Marian authorities decided, hey, French military, you have to leave Mali immediately. The French military, the French president had said they needed six months. The Marian authorities said, you have to leave our country immediately. 
the people you had signed, the, the former governments you had signed the contracts with to come and murder the Malian people here, that government is no longer around. You have to leave immediately. You understand? The French authorities had no choice but to leave. You see, they left the, the, the donkey uh, uh, presiding over Niger, the Niger president of donkey, he accepted their, 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 their hideous military there. So they get, went from Mali to Niger now. But they know that in Niger also the people will rise. They know the people will rise in Niger also. One of, uh, one of the Pan-Africanists who were organizing uh, always protests against France's uh, uh, colonial uh, military presence, uh, they murdered him the other day. They kidnapped him and took him to the desert and killed him and left him dead in his car. All this done by French and Niger's secret services. You understand? Because the president, the current president of Niger is a donkey that's being uh, manipulated by Emmanuel Macron and by France, who thinks that he will stay in power forever. You understand? Fooling himself. You see, so this is what I want to share with you guys, man. I, want, I try my best, you understand, to bring out to you guys the evil activities of France on the African continent and the bravery of the Malian authorities who are trying their best to put an end to the demonic colonialistic activities of France, not only in Mali, but in the entire African continent. Because once Mali is free, the rest of the African continent will also be free. You understand? One of the tricks France has been using is to make us look down on ourselves. You understand? To make us feel like without France, the terrorists will invade us. To make us feel like we are not even a human being capable of defending ourselves. That's how France has psychologically made us feel. With their TV channels displaying terrorists, beheading people, flogging people, to instill fear in our hearts. And the men, once you fear, you become useless. You understand? The Marian authorities understood this and they stood to it. Now they are collaborating with Russia, the brave Russia, the true, the, 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 the warrior Russia, you understand? Just for the past four months that they have been working together with the Russian military, they have achieved things that in the past 12 years that the nasty, lying, poisonous, thief, uh, uh, worthless French, French military has achieved for the past 12 years of their presence in the Sahel in a so-called fight against terrorism. And the French authorities now, the new tactic they are using is that whenever the Malian authorities, whenever the Malian military uh, 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 strike against terrorists and uh, uh, neutralize terrorists, the, 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 the French authorities and their Western, uh, 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 and their Western brothers, their Western allies, their Western brothers, as you know, they all eat together in the natural wealth of Africa. You understand? But France is the is the main head, you understand? They have to come through France in order for them to eat. France is the devil, the demon, the, the big S demon is France. You understand? France is the one that has the capacity, the soullessness, the heartlessness to starve African children to death, to make African women suffer to death, to keep Africa underdeveloped, you understand, in order to keep control of Africa's natural resources. You understand? So France is the main devil. The rest of the Western allies of France, they just come, they eat around the big, the plate of what falls out of the plate of France. You understand? So they stood with France. Like I was saying, the new tactics they are using now is that whenever the Malian authority, the Malian military uh, advance in their fight against the French agents, the fools France has fooled and given them arms and motorcycles, motorbikes, you understand, in desert, terrorizing Malian towns and cities killing innocent men, women, and children. Whenever the Malian military kill these people or, or neutralize these people or capture these people, uh, uh, France and its allies, they use their hypocritical, uh, 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 double-sided double humanitarian organization. And they say, no, Malian authorities and the Russian uh, uh, military are committing uh, uh, extrajudicial killings. They are killing civilians, blah, 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 blah. You understand? They, I don't know, they, they, are, they are, even these, these humanitarian, these so-called humanitarian organizations, I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe their leaders expect the population of the world to be animals or whatsoever, I don't know. Julian Assange had exposed American authorities killing of Iraqi people in a broad daylight to go and shoot innocent men, women, and children with helicopter. 
Julian Assange exposed this by showing the video to the world of the crimes America is committing in Iran and Afga in Iraq and Afghanistan. What did the Julian Assange get? He has been in jail for, for ever since. He's also threatened now, although he's very sick psychologically and physically, he's very sick. They are trying to extradite him to the United States of America because the American government wants to jail him for 100 years or to even poison and kill him. Because of what? Because he exposed the, 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 the America's uh, uh, crimes against humanity, America's killing of innocent people in Iraq and in Afghanistan. You understand? But these same bitches who are silent toward that those crimes of America, who are jailing Julian Assange for exposing such crimes of the United States of America, these same bitches have the audacity to go to Mali and say, no, the Malian authorities are killing people. You see how, 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 you see the world in which we live? But hey, fellow Africans, we are the one who allowed this. You understand? These people should never have the audacity to come and tell us about humanity. You understand? After what they have put us through historically and what they are putting us through today because of our natural resources. You understand? Any, any genocides, any wars you see in the African continent for the past 700 years, these people, the Western politicians, the Western master, multinationals have been behind them, killing millions and thousands and hundreds of thousands of Africans just so that they can keep control of our politics, economics, that we can keep down, they can keep us poor and worthless. You understand, the most disrespected people on the face of this planet are we running behind everybody. You understand? But it is because we allow it, fellow Africans, especially to the African brothers, we, we allow it. What we allow is what will continue. We can put an end to all of this. You understand? We as Africans, we are supposed to stand as one. If we do that just by tomorrow, by tomorrow the African continent will change. Everything will change. Because we have everything under the soil of Africa. Everything that it takes to make Africa the most developed continent on the face of this planet Earth. And the African people, the most prosperous people on the face of this planet Earth. But it is sad we cannot see it. We are blinded by tribalism, by religion, I don't know, by beef, small, small things, from seeing the big things that we can do together, that we can have together. Look at how we are suffering around Europe here. And anywhere we go around the world, we are the most disrespected people. Nobody respects the black man. Because people saw that they can disrespect us and get away with it. Because people know that we have the worthless leaders on the African continent who will never defend us, even if they kill us. Who will never hold them accountable. You understand? So to all my African brothers, it is time for us to come together, stand up. You understand? Stand up together with one objective to change Africa by all means. Religion, put it aside. Your religion is your personal business. When you die, you go in your tomb. You understand? With whatever you believe. And you will benefit from whatever you believe. You understand? That's your personal business. Keep it aside. Let us stand together and put an end to the humiliation, the shame and disgrace and the backwardness of our continent. We put an end to it build this beautiful continent into the most uh, uh, prosperous continent that it can be you understand i urge every african to stand up and support the malian authorities do not allow yourselves to be fooled by the western propaganda the lies that they have used to destroy iraq the lies that they have used to destroy libya the lies that they have used to destroy uh, 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 Syria, the lies that they have used to destroy Venezuela, the lies that they have used to prevent Cuba, Cuba from being a developing country. You understand? The lies that they have used against against Robert Mugabe to make Robert Mugabe look as 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 villain as he could look. When he was a man who just wanted freedom for his people, he wanted for his people the respect the Europeans want for themselves. You understand? He wanted the land the white settlers stole from or forcibly took from the indigenous in Zimbabweans. He wanted to take it from them and give it to its rightful owners. They made Robert Mugabe look like a demon. And most Africans fall for their bullshit, their propaganda, and their lies. You understand? So, like I was saying, we should all support the Malian authorities. 
do never listen to a Western politician's bullshit. You should put in your mind that the suffer you are in is because of these politicians and they are multinationals. You understand? You see how rich your country is? What do you benefit? You don't benefit anything. The only people who benefit is the people they have finger hand picked. The Western politicians have hand picked and put in power in our countries. They and their family members, they are swimming in money in Africa and Europe and around the world. You understand? And these stupid dummies, just for themselves and their family members, <coughs> sorry, just for themselves and their family members, they have decided to let these Western politicians and their, and their multinationals control every source of our countries. You understand? Leaving us the people, the most suffering people on the face of this planet Earth. I say again, stand with the Marian authorities. Close your ears to the Western media. They are fucking liars. They have no souls. You understand? They have no hearts. They are blinded by greed from feeling for the African child that is dying of hunger. They are blinded by their greed from seeing the African men, women, and children who are suffering. You understand? Because of extreme poverty, despite their countries being the richest countries on the face of this planet Earth. Don't listen to Western TV channels. They are liars. They don't have a shame. Okay, guys. I hope that you guys get to, you know, learn one or two things from this video. You understand? As you guys know, life, that's how life is. You understand? God has created us and give each one of us a talent or a vision or a way of seeing this world. You understand? So it's very important that we listen to each other. You understand i can learn something from your experience or from your understanding of the world and you can learn something from my experience and from my understanding of the world you understand and it is with this belief that i have the courage to sit down and uh, record these videos to share with my african brothers and sisters you understand and play my role in the sensitization you understand and also the the freedom of africa from uh, the wicked uh, 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 foreign forces that controls our continent is uh, 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 politics, social life, and the economies, making sure that we Africans and we black people remain the poorest, the most backward, and the most disrespected people. Fellow Africans, I hope that you guys have learned one or two things from this video. Peace up. Until next time, see you again. Peace up. Freedom is for men. You understand? Men must be ready to die for freedom. You understand like a saying goes a coward will die many times throughout the journey of his life on this planet earth the real man dies only one time peace up